Finally, you can just um, call it boldness or mere push of hope. The leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namdi Kanu, is going through with his lawsuit against the federal government. In the case filed through his lawyer, Aloy Ejimogu, is demanding that the federal government return Namdi Kanu to Kenya. He's also demanding 5 billion naira compensation from the government over alleged gross violation of his fundamental rights. The hearing of the suits has been fixed to the 2nd of November at the Abia State High Court. I've listened to this, um, the lawyer, Aloy Jimako, that, that's oh. Mazin Abdul Kano was bundled home. That it wasn't an extradition. It was what, it's, it's what we call a rendition. So that it was brought in from Kenya and in a questionable way. The federal government of Nigeria, they've not spoken about it, but we've seen the international, some international agencies now asking questions how he got back to Nigeria and he's saying his fundamental human rights has been violated and is asking for five billion naira compensation. No, of course, the, rea the issue is that no matter what you think of Enam Dekanu and whatever it is he's doing, you don't act this way. Extraordinary rendition. You flatten international law. You're, I believe you've, you flattened Kenyan law itself. You flattened it. So the matter is in court now. Let us we don't know the story. Well, going by the claim of the lawyer okay. and going by the letter that has been written by the United Nations. Hmm. Okay. We're not talking about okay. an international observer organization or watchdog. Mm -hmm. This is okay. the United Nations. Which body wants to be higher than that? And okay. they've taken the time to look at to you know you know to look at what happened. It's like when look. It's like when Kabiru Yusuf, is that his name, the founder of Boko Haram, mm. was killed. Mohammed. We didn't like what he was doing, but we also didn't like the way in the, man, the manner in which he was killed. Mm -hmm. Didn't President The Brad, Lord does not support the way. Didn't President Gerardo order the arrest of the man who shot him? Mm -hmm. I remember, I think, I think 2008 or mm -hmm. 9, he, 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 he ordered the man's arrest. Why? That arrest was to prove that what the man had done was not right, and we see where we are today. Judicial judicial mm -hmm. It was not necessary. Mm -hmm. The reality is that Enam they can what and all for everything that that that, that had happened. You don't, if it happened. It, I, I think that's that, that's how you want me to you know to say. If it was extraordinary, uh, extraordinarily renditioned, I think that this law should also take its course. If the same Nigerian government is saying that it was not uh, that he had broke that he had you, that you know they charged him for his treason and. And, and, uh, and, and so on. The same law books also prevent what you did to him. So both laws should take their cause. For me, I think that, and then in the end, for me, I think that Enam Dekanu is not really the problem. He is not in the southeast and, is, and, and the region is boiling. What, what we ought to do was what he was alluding to. There should be some measure of reaching out and having some kind of conversation to make sure that the issue, this is, is it's, it's a thing of the mind, it's an ideology. How do we deal with the issues on the table? I'm not a Biafran and I'm not a Go. But I believe that. I'm close to them. No, I'm not. <laughs> not, not. You see, it, 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 it's, it's, it's like, it's, it, it, it's like, <laughs> it's like when they went to Sonny Bowo's son, son, son house. Okay. And, you know, just did everything that they did there. That is not how to deal with the issues confronting Nigeria. Let us realize that the national question cannot be addressed by force of arms. <laughs> Sit down and talk. That's what you're supposed to do. Sit down and talk. <laughs> So, uh, Mazinano Kano is questioning how he got back to Nigeria now and his fundamental human rights, you know, being trampled upon. Believe me, he has every right to do so under our laws because you cannot force a man to unless he wants to. So, what we have done, and so far, the government has been so unwilling. No, they've not told us at all. That's the. The government has been so unwilling to open up. And when you look at the track record of this government, <laughs> what it made allusion to, which is Igbo case, the government invaded the place. You know, before that one, something happened in Igbo's, and 
Some people say it was on non-government or on <laughs> gone no men as we now make jest yeah. of that uh, word. Anytime yeah. it comes up, we are in the newsroom and it says also happen again. We say on gone no men or oh, on no government. Yeah. Now, the second time when it happened, we didn't know who did the first one. But when it happened the second time, we saw what happened. For almost 24 hours, the government didn't come out. And we were almost going you know, to bed with this and that before the DSS now came out. The same government that doesn't want people, citizens, to misbehave, to, you know, do things against the law, is enjoying breaking laws, enjoying breaching, you know, rights of other people. You go to somebody's house, destroy these key people, those who kill them, unless they've been proven guilty, are, they are not criminals. And when you see the, 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 the judgment of the court in Ohio State, it was totally, you know, against the federal government. You get my point? Mm. The government affirmed the right of every Nigerian to agitate for this and that with the atmosphere of peace and this. The moment is not a violent agitation. And government should realize that. And there are examples all over the world. When thi things like this are coming up, you want Odudua, you want Aousa, you want uh, Biafra or whatever, the next thing is not to go and kill them. The next thing is not to go and arrest them. God bless you, sir. You need to go look down beyond the roots. What is happening in the Southeast is bigger than Namdekano. Go and take care of Namdekano. The problem persists. It even gets worse. So you need to understand that. Okay, how do you deal with this thing? This is a thing of the mind. Then let's engage you know, mind to mind and solve the problems. If there are no injustices, do you think people like Kano will be relevant? Exactly. Because there was a time there was a group called the Movement for the Actualization of the Maso, Sovereignty yes, of Ma Biafra. Yes, Biafra. Look, and under um, <laughs> President Olusha Gorbachev at that time and everything, the the group did not gain every, this kind of every, traction. Every country has its own. Go to Kenya, you have the Mombasa Republican Council. They are contained, not by force of arms. It's not by force of arms. The, the, the Nigerian problem is peculiar and particular because we have an unresolved and unsolved national question crisis. It is there. This is where you take the matter from. And the fact that we are overlooking amending the constitution, the fact, look, the symptoms are, are, are warm. The foundation problem is there. Part of the symptoms is that our electoral process, for instance, is highly flawed. Now, voter party, we see pictures, polling units, people, electoral people are waiting for people to come and vote. Sometimes from 7 a.m. till 3 p.m., nobody has come out to come and vote. What do you do? People are, that's the, people are telling you that we don't trust the, the, the process because whether we come or not, we'll see figures that, that, that even we we'll find difficult. I, you, you, you had your own experience. What, how do we deal with this problem? Let us go back to the base and to the beginning. There are fundamental issues that must be addressed for Nigeria to move forward. Address them. So Kano is right in this lawsuit? No, he is more than right. Please. He is more than right. As long, do you know? I don't know why anybody should right. entertain any fear because you approach the court. It's a fundamental father, right suit. His father is not the judge. He's not going to be the judge. The uh, the president, President Muhammadu Buhari, will not be the judge. The attorney general will not be the judge. So he can so exercise an the extension law. of his rights. Believe me, beautiful thing to do. Hmm. Adekunle Yusuf, thank you. Aro, thank you, <laughs> thank you for your contribution. Thanks. And um, Cyril Abako, thank you for standing in. My pleasure. Adam. And that's our offering today. Join us tomorrow for another edition of the program. And don't forget to join us on Journalist Standard on Sunday from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. on Sunday. Journalist Standard on Sunday. Why on YouTube, youtube.com slash TVC News Nigeria. I'm Ayodili Uzubakun. See you on Sunday and God bless Nigeria. <laughs>